Hello and welcome to the semi-illustrious Direct Soccer Radio Show, where if you don't have a sense of humor, you're likely to think I am a huge, arrogant, nasty, mean, gigantic spanker. My guest today is former youth soccer star and now no longer a uh, little youth spanker anymore. Please welcome Freddy Adu. Freddy, how are you and are you ready to get down and dirty? Great. Thanks for asking, and uh, sure. How's the uh, club search going? Uh, we're we're working on some options. And I'm working on a buzz. <laughs> Cheers. <Okay>. Um, <laughs> Paps Blue Ribbon. If you aren't drinking the Pabst, oh. you're probably drinking beer that tastes like ass. All right, then. Okay. Let's sure. get started, Freddy. I read somewhere that you like to play video games after your uh, matches and practices. I, I sure do. Might I suggest something to you? Uh, sh sure, go ahead. And this goes for all the youth spankers like Josie as well. <laughs> uh, what about perhaps going over some film okay. and studying for the next game? What about watching world-class soccer games on the telly or on the uh, DVR? Well, I guess when you play professional soccer every day and you train, you just want to go home and relax, you know? Yes, but Freddy, you have to understand. If you want to make it in Europe, uh, especially... Uh, if you have to uh, beat out all these super class players, mm -hmm. you have to gain an advantage over your teammates mm -hmm. for the starting positions. I, I don't know many players that study film after practice. Okay, so they don't watch it. So what? No. Uh, it could be uh, one way to get a le uh, like a leg up on those slackers. Okay. You know? okay. Uh, don't you find it ridiculous uh, that your job is to become a world class soccer player mm -hmm. yet? Uh, you're more interested in playing Lego Star Wars Battlefront on your PS3. Well, if it helps, I play a lot of FIFA 2010. Splendid. Okay, splendid. You sound okay, drunk. moving on then. Okay. Uh, I obviously failed making my point. Uh, a recent poster on FN mm -hmm. who saw you some time back uh, when the U.S. Uh, Nationals were playing a game in the Nashville area. Mm -hmm. uh, said he saw you with uh, EJ, okay. uh, Gooch, uh, Josie at the bar, and he remarked on the following observation, and I quote, Okay. So, I leave my table to approach the guys when I looked down and noticed how amazingly tiny Freddy's feet were. <laughs> I'm talking, it looked like he had the feet of a toddler. They were freakishly small. Is there any uh -huh. way having really small feet would hinder you in football? Is that a question? That was the quote, end of quote. Okay. Uh, what say you, Freddy? I do have small feet. What, like a toddler? No, they're bigger than a toddler's. How much bigger? Say, what, two, three inches? <laughs> no, they're a bit bigger than that. You know what they say about men with the small feet, right? Uh, no. I don't. They wear small shoes. Okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh -huh. if you want to uh, kick this person's ass oh. that accused you of having uh, these little toddler feet, <laughs> the guy yeah. who said it, um, okay. his name is Enan Football, right. and he lives somewhere in Tennessee, I think. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep that Speaking in mind. Speaking of size, uh -huh. um, your U.S. soccer stats say you're five foot eight. Is that right? I think so. Sure. Well, you and I know... That is horse manure. Okay. If you're 5'8", mm -hmm. then this little pooch is hung like golden balls. Who's golden balls? Oh, not you too. What's up? Do none of you uh, soccer players know any of the nicknames of other players that fans have? How secluded are you people anyways? I suppose we don't mix much with Do public. Do you follow any blogs about the soccer? Not really. No. Well, for your information, okay. Freddy, uh -huh. uh, Golden Balls is David Beckham's uh, nickname. Oh. And I will email you a close-up photo afterwards that will explain it all for you. It will, okay. All right. I'll Anyhow, okay. about your size, okay. it seems to me you uh -huh. have not grown much since you were, say, 14. Um, what might explain uh -huh. your stunted growth? Okay. Are you smoking the reefer? <laughs> no. uh, did your mother not breastfeed you enough? Yeah. Have you been uh, hanging out at uh, meth houses with, say, Andre Agassi? Mm. What gives, Freddy? <laughs> I have grown since I was 14. What, a half an inch? A few centimeters? Yeah, more uh, than that. Did you buy some high heel shoes? No, it's more than that. I think like four inches. So what you're saying is you basically skipped puberty. I don't think I did, no. 
inspired. I suggest if mm -hmm. you want to learn more about the growth, <laughs> mm -hmm. that you check out the picture of golden balls I email you uh, after the show. Okay, I said I would. I'm waiting for it. Now, Freddy, there's some talk in the gutters that are soccer blogs mm -hmm. that uh, you might not be as young as you say you are. What say you? I'm not sure where people came up with that. That's junk. That's junk. Well, frankly, I don't either. You hardly look a day over 15 to me now. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> well, Freddy, what happened in Europe with you? Why no uh, success yet? Well, things just haven't worked out, really. No kidding. Mm -hmm. What are you, the master of the obvious? <laughs> Why didn't they work out? Uh, bad luck, changing managers, lots of things. Bad luck, eh? Yes. Listen, Freddy, uh -huh. you don't know bad luck, my friend. Okay. Bad luck is when you found out uh, one of your four girlfriends has herpes. Uh, I don't get it. Where are you going with it? Well, because 22% of all women have herpes, mm -hmm. according to a recent study. Okay. Chances are you would need to have at least, say, five girlfriends uh -huh. to assure that one of them has herpes. Okay. Being uh, that one of the four girlfriends in this scenario has herpes uh -huh. means that the gigolo in question got screwed by 3%. Uh, okay. Are you catching the statistics game I am running here? Are you drunk? One out of four. Is 25%, you see? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm not sure how that ties into our discussion. Though. It doesn't have to, Freddy. Okay. Who's hosting the show here anyhow? I think you are, and I think you're drunk. That's right, brother. Okay. What I'm saying is that mm -hmm. blaming uh, your manager and owner changes doesn't pass muster as a good excuse for me. Okay. And frankly, it shouldn't for you either. Uh, all right. What I'm saying is mm -hmm. that if you go out there and show a manager you're one of the top 11 players, you'll get some PT. Right. And you can uh, take your sore ass cheeks off the splintery bench. You know what I mean? That's what I tried to do. I did. Have you asked yourself this? Uh -huh. Did you try hard enough? Not really. Not really you didn't try hard enough? Or not really I haven't asked myself that question? Uh, what? I think it's the second one. Exactly my point. What? Come again. I'm lost. Now, to close things up. Oh, all right. Do you think your time at IMG Academy, mentally prepared you for what it was going to be like in Europe. Uh, Did you get tutoring concerning what it was going to take to succeed overseas, mm. especially since everyone knew that was your goal? Did anyone with experience and success in European soccer ever pull your little spanker ass aside and say, hey, this is what you should expect once you get there, here are the challenges that your little spanker ass will face. Uh, not really. No. So you got uh, no advice, no guidance about that from the IMG? Not from IMG. I talked a little to Gooch about it. But IMG didn't have a class or anything where they no. prepared you for, say, the ins and outs no. and expectations of Europe. Thought by someone who'd been there and done that. No. 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 Sounds like you got short change, brother. Maybe, maybe I did. No, trust me, you did. Okay. Uh, it shows uh, in the uh, sort of extra effort department in your case, Freddy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let you go now, Freddy. Uh, I know you have at least two mm -hmm. or three clubs seeking your services mm -hmm. uh, that you need to talk to um, your saboteur. I mean, uh, I mean your agent about. <laughs> I want to uh, thank right. you for coming on the show. All I wish right. you the very best in okay. the future. All and right. maybe we'll see you in the uh, 2014 World Cup. Best of luck, Freddy. All right, thanks, you're right. Goodbye. Thanks for visiting, and stay tuned for next week's show. Remember to always carry a box of Tic Tacs because the ladies dig them. And to all a merry and delicious good night. <laughs>